This one's called the Bar-Tailed Godwit. It's on page September 29th. Each day is a different topic. Uh, now, I, I think I kind of like this because it's not called the Bar-Tailed Evolution Wit. <laughs> it's called the Godwit. What makes this bird so amazing? Because of what he can do. You see, this bird in the summer lives in Alaska, way up here in Alaska. Okay, it's circled already. But in the winter, he has to fly to New Zealand. It is a 7,000 mile journey over open ocean. So he has to take off from Alaska and never stop because he's not a water bird, he's not a waterfowl. If he stops, he's gonna drown. He won't even be able to take off from the water. So it has to stay in the air all that time. It has to stay time. in the air the whole time. Wow. It's from five to seven days, he travels an average of about 50 to 70 miles an hour. Five to seven days continuously Continuously flapping flights. his wings, continuously. Wow. Now, this is how he does it, okay? He has to fly 7,000 miles for five to seven days. Turns out, every flap of his wing takes up energy. Where does that energy come from? It comes from the fat stored in his body. The cells contain fat, and it gets used up with every flap of the wing. So he has to increase his body weight by 55%, or he can't carry enough payload, enough fuel to get there. So he knows before he takes eat. off, he's got to eat a he's bunch eat of food. and eat and eat. But there's a problem. If he eats that much, he starts looking like the Goodyear blimp. Okay, he's not very aerodynamic. The blimp doesn't move very fast. Seems like a catch-22, Bruce. It he does. needs more food for more energy, but the more food he gets, the heavier the he is. Gets. So uh, what do you do? We all have that problem, don't yes. we? <laughs> so, well, God provided the answer because he designed this bird to do what it does. Once it reaches the weight it needs, all of its internal organs shrivel up. Its liver, its stomach, its kidneys, its intestines, even its heart, they compact and shrivel into a very small space so he becomes more streamlined. The type of fat he makes is highly concentrated with a very low water content so he's not packing a bunch of water with him as he flies. And between those two things, he has just enough fuel to make the journey. So his body knows to do this somehow. Because it's designed into the DNA of that creature. And it's the only creature we know of that will do this thing with its body in order to be able to accomplish what he accomplishes. So Bruce, if this creature was 75, 80% evolved to do this, I mean, it seems to me like it's ditching in the ocean somewhere around New Guinea. Exactly. He dies. No babies, no more godwits. They're dead, they're extinct. It all has to be there. All of those abilities, all to begin with. Before he takes Before off, he, takes he, that first he has flight. to be able to make it and, he has, and he has to be able to... And he has to navigate that whole way. He has to know where to get there over open ocean. All of it's programmed into his ability. Amazing creature. Do evolutionists even have a big way to try to explain that? Do they just... Uh, honestly, they, they, they're, they're, they will look at something like this and they'll say, Look at the marvelous abilities that this animal has. Look at what evolution has created. They throw the word evolution, evolution. at Evolution. It. It's useful that he's able to shrivel his fat, so he must have evolved that. It's useful that it's a highly concentrated fat and he can shrivel his organs, so he must have evolved that. And that's really as far as the thinking goes. 